Hepsis. Peptic ulcers are the areas of erosion, degeneration and necrosis of gastrointestinal mucosa exposed to acid peptic secretions. They can occur at any level of the alimentary tract that is exposed to hydrochloric acid and pepsin. They occur most commonly in either the duodenum or stomach. The causes of peptic peptic ulcer includes Stress Helicobacter pylori infection Use of NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs Use of local irritants such as heavily spiced foods, alcohol and cigarette smoking. The treatment of peptic ulcer includes the use of antacids. Antacids are the simplest way to treat the symptoms of excessive gastric acid secretion. They directly neutralize acid and this also has the effect of inhibiting the activity of peptic enzymes, which practically ceases at pH 5. They relieve the pain of dyspepsia and acid indigestion and enable peptic ulcers to heal. Commonly used antacids are aluminum hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide either alone or in combination. Calcium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate can be absorbed systemic and can produce transient metabolic alkalosis. It is also known systemic antacid. Most antacids in common use are salts of magnesium and aluminium. Magnesium salts cause diarrhea and aluminium salts, constipation, so mixtures of these two can, happily, be used to preserve normal bowel function. Alginates or simeticone are sometimes combined with antacids. Alginates are believed to increase the viscosity and adherence of mucus to the esophageal mucosa, forming a protective barrier, whereas simeticone is an anti-foaming agent, intended to relieve bloating and flatulence. Another approach to reduce gastric acidity is by inhibiting gastric acid secretion with a histamine H2 receptor antagonist or a proton pump inhibitor, PPI. The H2 receptor antagonists, or H2 blockers, include cimetidine, famotidine, ranitidine, and nizatidine. The structure of H2 blockers is similar to that of histamine and this enables the drugs to compete with histamine for binding to H2 receptors on gastric parietal cells and inhibit histamine-mediated acid secretion. The H2 blockers have been shown to be potent inhibitors of both meal-stimulated secretion and basal secretion of gastric acid. Proton pump inhibitors or PPIs. The PPIs include esomeprazole, omeprazole, pantoprazole, and rabaprazole. The PPIs are acid labile prodrugs that are administered orally as sustained release, enteric coated preparations. After they are absorbed from the gut, the drugs are distributed to the secretory canaliculi in the gastric mucosa and converted to active metabolites which form a covalent disulfide link with a cystinal residue in the proton pump, H+, K+, ATPase, found in the luminal membrane of gastric parietal cells. These drugs irreversibly inhibit the proton pump and prevent the secretion of gastric acid for an extended period. The drugs can produce a dose-dependent inhibition of up to 95% of gastric acid secretion, and a single dose can inhibit acid secretion for 1-2 to two days. Hence the PPIs are more efficacious than the H2 blockers for most conditions. PPIs are highly effective in treating peptic ulcer disease. Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, a condition characterized by severe ulcers resulting from gastrin-secreting tumors gastrinomas. Cytoprotective drugs. Sucralfate, bismuth chelate and misoprostol are considered as cytoprotective agents. Sucralfate is a viscous polymer of sucrose octosulfate and aluminum hydroxide. This sulfated polysaccharide adheres to ulcer craters and epithelial cells, and it inhibits pepsin-catalyzed hydrolysis of mucosal proteins. Misoprostol is a prostaglandin E1 analog. The drug exerts a cytoprotective effect by inhibiting gastric acid secretion and promoting the secretion of mucus and bicarbonate. It is primarily indicated for the prevention of gastric and duodenal ulcers in patients who are taking NSAIDs on a long-term basis for the treatment of arthritis and other conditions. Bismuth chelate, tripotassium dicytrotobismuth 8, is sometimes used in combination regimens to treat H. pylori. It has toxic effects on the bacillus, and may also prevent its adherence to the mucosa or inhibit its bacterial proteolytic enzymes. Treatment for Helicobacter pylori eradication. The currently recommended treatment for peptic ulcers consists of a PPI and two or more of the antimicrobial. It includes triple therapy use of three drugs for 14 days that include omeprazole, clarithromycin and amoxicillin or metronidazole. 
quadruple therapy means use of four drugs for 14 days that includes omeprazole, metronidazole, bismuth subsalicylate and tetracycline. Sequential therapy is used four drugs for 10 days. For one to five day omeprazole and amoxicillin. Followed by six to 10 days omeprazole, clarithromycin and tinidazole. Share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology.